Now that we've added users, let's talk about adding students. Go ahead and click students from the far left. And here we can see I've already added one student as an example. But let's go ahead and click on add to add a new student. All right, so here we can add their permit number, their license number, certificate number, name, their gender, their address, phone number, email, etc. So let's go ahead and punch in some examples here. And if I click save, it will show me what else I need to punch in, but that was about it. So I can punch in their contact info. I can put in an alternative phone number, maybe a home phone number. I can punch in their email if maybe we want to send them email reminders of their appointments. I can elect what class type, so whether they're an automotive via car or a bus, tractor trailer, motorcycle, etc. We can enter in if they have any restrictions, such as eyeglasses. We can punch in what their source was. Were they just a walk-in or were they referred by a former student? We can adjust their status, so whether they are an active student, inactive, or if they are um, completed. Once we have a package uh, that they've um, paid for and then we've given a receipt, it'll show up here. Number of lessons completed would show up here. We can enter in the road test um, that we want to schedule for them. And we can also elect to send email for new appointments. Now on the far right, if you were to be reviewing this a student, you'd be able to see receipts, contracts, and lessons, and any um, appointments as well as notes. So go ahead and click Save. Then you'll be able to navigate to the other tabs as well as quick links such as printing the MV262, um, print appointments, text appointments, pick a pre-licensing class. Here you can see their progress log. Here you can see re receipts and payments. Where this is where you can add a new receipt or payment. So maybe um, this new student wants package one. And here I can go ahead and click save. This creates a balance for this student. And now let's say they're going to make a payment for it. I can go ahead and edit the receipt. Punch in that they gave me cash. And hit save. And here they have a zero balance. We can add notes to students. Click save. We can uh, check out activity logs. So what changes were made to a student. You can see um, other users in the office and who made changes to a student's record. Now here that I've added a package, you can see the receipt. And I believe we didn't cover how to do a refund, so you can hit issue refund, choose the date, punch in the refund method, and save. Here you can hit email appointments, text appointments, or print appointments. Here we can once we have pre-licensing classes set up, we can choose one. And here you can email the student. Here, you can print the MV262. Then if we go back, we can see the complete list of our students. Filter by status type, those that are active, inactive, or completed. We can also search in the top right. And that does it for student management.